The Iraqi military's Joint Operations Command has confirmed the establishment of a center for bolstering intelligence and security cooperation with Tehran, Moscow and Damascus in the fight against Daesh. The main goal of the center will be collecting and sharing information about the terrorist group, its military equipment and logistics, as well as terrorist movements. Uh, now uh, the Iraqi government strategy is to have a mutual cooperation with most of the countries in the world. And of course, uh, we will focus on the neighbors' countries. We are aware that uh, Daesh it is not the enemy for Iraq and Syria only. It is the enemy for all the countries in the global system. So it is better for all the countries, and especially uh, the neighbors, to be with us. Since Daesh launched an offensive in June of 2014 and took control of portions of Iraqi territory, Iran has played a vital role in supporting Baghdad in the fight against the terrorist group. Tehran was first to provide both Baghdad and Arbil with arms to fight back Daesh. Iran has openly asserted Tehran's military and advisory assistance for Baghdad and has beefed up security along 1,500 kilometers of shared borders with Iraq. Meanwhile, Russia is reportedly looking to widen its presence in in the Middle East. Moscow has reportedly expanded bases inside Syria recently and deployed drones, aircrafts and helicopters there. Moscow is believed to be alarmed by the presence of over 2,000 Russian-born militants among the ranks of terrorist groups. Iran has never halted security and intelligence cooperation with Iraq, neither is military support. As for Russia, I believe Moscow has never been wary of the spillover of the crisis into the North Caucasus region and Central Asia as it is now. Now. This is why we believe this alliance will be very strategic and its timing is very significant as well. The agreement comes ahead of a possible meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and his U.S. counterpart Barack Obama on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly in New York, while the latter has come under fire for lack of a clear policy that has given the terrorist group opportunities to expand. Iraqis believe the newer security agreement between Iraq and all of Iran, Syria and Russia will further tighten the chokehold on Daesh in Syria and Iraq. But more importantly, it formalizes an alliance between the four nations in fighting terrorism. Atapama Press TV, Baghdad.